All right, here we are in a beautiful Coeur d'Alene, Idaho day. A little bit overcast, a little bit of rain, so we decided we were going to shoot this absolutely cool custom here indoors because we didn't want to get it any wetter than we already got it today. We were able to get the photo shoot done outdoors, so make sure you go to Spud's Garage and uh, take a really good look at the photos on this car. We're going to cover a lot on the interiors. We walk around here in the exterior of the car. Beautiful done custom. 2016 uh, Grand National Roadster Show is when this was completed, right around that time era. It's done by Lucky 7 Customs out of Antioch, California. Beautiful car. We're going to cover all of what we can tell you. There's a lot of custom stuff and when you look at custom cars, the trick to a custom car is they look so seamless and they're done right that you really can't see all the modifications because they just, they're just so well done. Um, the gaps in every door seam on this car, this car is just whistle straight. As we walk around here, we're going to cover a lot of stuff with you. 54 Chevy's had a beautiful body to begin with, but they make a wonderful canvas, canvas for a uh, custom. We've got some nice LED lighting on it. As we go around here, we're going to point out the things that we see. Really, a lot of coats are clear on this. You can't, it's got a lot of custom touches to it. The roof is finished in a uh, cobalt blue. Beautiful. You're catching the reflection of the garage doors up there. You'll see it's got a, a gold line here and then a blue pinstripe, but you'll also, if you really look, you'll see a darker shadow along here. It has uh, 51 Lincoln uh, doorknobs on it. You just push those for access. He left quite a bit of trim on it that was factory-wise around the top side of this car, which is nice. Lightly modified too. It has about a three and a half inch chop on the roof. You'll see it has a nice little scallop in the center here. Again, doing it in the shop here may be a blessing because you're really getting a feel of the quality of the paint. The paint by this gentleman is just awesome. The trim is beautiful, the way it fits the front windshield here, the way it's chopped. Again, something done right is something that you can't really tell has been changed. If you look at how the fender gaps come together here and along the top, the way the hood fits, I just, I've shut the hood a couple times and it just sets down perfectly every time. Again, the scallop. Here's the Lucky 7 custom emblem on the uh, fender. Has a uh, Cadillac Sobrero hubcaps on it. We'll get into the powertrain and stuff after we talk about some of the modifications on the front here. I'm going to move the light up a little bit so we kind of get a feel on the nose here. You get a feel of the paint and the finish on this car. It's just sweet. Come up here. It has uh, 53 Cadillac. Tail uh, headlights and eyebrows on it, which is just beautiful. It's a nice little touch on this car, and there's a lot more there as we go along here. If you remember, a 54 would have had these big chrome turn marker lights here, just right in here, and then the grill would have been coming across here, but he's molded in an incredible one-piece grill front balance here. The, the bumpers have been shortened and set back up against the uh, gravel shield on the front here. These are... Uh, 52 Packard uh, bullets up front here, or Dagmars, and they have actual turn signals hidden right in there. It has 50 uh, early Corvette grill teeth, well, those bleed 53s, 53s, it has extra teeth added to it. I've got the owner here to help me out here. But as we go across the front, the one piece fitting and molding on the front of this car is just incredible. The finish is nice all the way through. You'll see the uh, lighting you'll see the cobalt blue and the gold and you cannot even feel these lines that has that much clear coat on it kind of step back and let you take a look at the hood here see the fit but you also notice they shaved the trim off the front the hood's been decked some so it's, it's shallower it typically would have had a seam here this is a two-piece hood that's all been filled in doesn't have the uh, mascot that it would typically have step back and take a look here kind of give you a feel you want to move that light around with me right here I've got the owner helping me out here so we can get this done I'm trying to capture some of the color for you it's got some nice LED lighting we've had it on the lift I'm standing on the lift Again, the Caddy Sombrero hubcaps. Underneath the hood here is the Chevy 350 V8. Great engine, 700 R4 automatic overdrive. 
Chevy Nova 10 bolt rear differential definitely a custom that you can drive the car has a couple thousand miles on it you can drive it more and you can go win trophies with it this is the kind of car you will have crowds around and you will win trophies it's won best paint here in the Spokane show and again 2016 uh, Grand National Roadster show best radical hardtop custom there's a lot of cool customs at the Grand National Roadster show I can tell you that see the reflections in the side fitted the door panels same thing the hood gaps are the same front to uh, both sides right and left kind of gives you a feel of the shadow here that I talked about on the other side and I know I'm gonna miss some things as I go around here I've got a cheat sheet over there on the but there's so many different components on this car I could study it till the cows come home and still probably find something new a little while later the rear fender skirts have been extended and fitted just the gap is actually the same as the doors and the hood they fit perfectly the metallic is just laid on very nice we're gonna open up this door show you the button Lincoln door buttons the interior kind of the themes he's used a Chrysler upholstery which kind of goes along with a lucky seven thing you'll see the crown there very nice uh, diamond pleated cloth and vertical pleated uh, leather carpet on the bottom of the door panels so when you get out you aren't kicking your upholstery got a super high low car shifter there way up there custom all the way the AC vents are down here underneath the dash door jam to door jam you'll see the the fit and finish is the same you can smell the leather inside the high quality leather cad plated door latches the finish goes all the way into the door jam here back seat headliner you'll see even the dome light works like it's supposed to when the door comes open that dome lights on seat belts on the front seat belts in the back take the grandkids for a ride or the ladies for a ride they even hand painted the uh, controls to let you know as we get in here the hot and cold for the heat so these are all billet knobs but they hand painted on the dash here the fan speed and up down that kind of thing key thing factory dash insert again I have a really neat cheat sheet on this car but I'm going to go over all the specs get back to Spud's garage I just love the shifter I'll get over the other side and show you it's got nice sun visors see how that door shuts just sweet kind of give you an idea of the color here in the shop with the LED light on it I know it's going to be a little bit of a long video because I want to cover this car really good it's a sweet custom these are uh, 56 Packard taillights correct and this is a uh, overrider is from a 52 Kaiser. Kaiser yeah but you'll see the deck lid you can actually pick up the uh, metallic on it we might even get this outside in the rain and do the video too I might have two different videos on this car. The sun came out. This is a uh, 52 Chevy rear window. It has 9 inch speakers in the back with an iPod or a connection to hook up to your cell phone so you can listen to your music off your device. Go put a little light on the subject there. Appreciate you coming to Spud's Garage. We actually have it up on the lift. We're going to cover the undercarriage and engine compartment like we usually do. Again, vertical pleats, diamond, diamond uh, pleated clo uh, cloth inserts. Get you inside here. This is for the air shocks on the rear. 
VIN tag right there, 54. Has I, I did a tilt steering column that's finished body color. I'm gonna fire it up. Starts right up. Fuel gauge reading almost full. Temp gauge we haven't had it run long enough. Battery uh, showing a charge. Oil pressure right about mid-range, so all the gauges work. Again, he's put about 2,000 miles on it. Sweet. About time we tell you to get in. Make sure you hang on to the end of the video. Go to spudsgarage.com. Have a great day. All right, we've got it inside because of the raindrops outside. And we're going to share the trunk with you here and try and cover every square inch of this beauty. Anyway, the trunk here, the bottom side of the deck lid, I uh, wanted to point out a couple things. They carpeted the panels here. A lot of guys don't even pay attention to that kind of thing. So the attention, the detail goes all the way throughout. The, the trunk is finished just like the interior of the car and you'll see the panels and the leather. This panel over here on the right comes off because the battery's hidden back there. I'm not going to take it off now. The fuel fill is right here. The uh, one thing I noticed in the trunk here, I don't think I've seen anybody do this before. He wanted to keep the, the nice lines here so you could see the nice paint. So he took the weather strip ended it there so it looks great at the show. You look down here and it doesn't have a big piece of rubber strip there. And the weather strip actually continues on the top side, which is kind of cool. Don't think I've seen anybody do that before. Anyway, this kind of cool custom you can drive. There you go. Make sure you hang on to the end of the video. Thanks for listening to me. Underneath the hood here is a Chevy 350 crate engine. It has a uh, 600 CFM D Demon carburetor, four barrel carburetor on it. it. Has a 700 R4 automatic overdrive transmission. Really built to drive. Uh, car's won multiple awards, but also it's the kind of car you can drive. He's got a couple thousand miles on it. You've heard me say that around the walk around. Has a Champion aluminum radiator. The uh, transmission coolers in the bottom side of the radiator, which is keeps the tranny nice and cool, it has a custom built fan shroud, vintage air conditioning here, they ran the lines through the apron, low car style components throughout, there's a low car uh, transmission dipstick tube there, GM HEI distributor which usually comes with most crate engines, Edelbrock aluminum intake manifold, nice spinned aluminum dress, I believe those are probably Sanderson headers. I've got a spec sheet I can go back and visit. We're going to actually obviously update the ad uh, at Spud's Garage. The original body tag is still on the car here. Kind of give you an idea there. The firewall is really nicely smooth and finished in a black clear coat. Just super shiny. But you can cl clearly see the level of detail. Clear coat, catch that? Anyway, the level of detail throughout the car. We've got some really heavy light on it here, so we wanted to share it. Has a nice little caddy air filter on it. The caddy air filter, this guy was really good with color. It's kind of subtle. The top of the air filter is black and he's fogged in the uh, dark cobalt blue that's on the roof. So it kind of brings in the exterior of the car on the inside. You'll see the steering column has the light metallic blue on it. This is a GM uh, high amp alternator, modern style. He left the vents here open, which typically would have went through the firewall where you'd have the vents and you'd have that inside, but he left it so it'd bring nice, some nice air into the engine compartment. You'll see the hardware. Everything's nicely done along the aprons here. Bottom side of the hood. We talked about it being a one-piece hood. There's the bottom side of the hood where you can kind of catch a look there. Just a nice matte finish. Sometimes you can overkill with too much stuff. 
and this one's just subtle and nice underneath the hood again vintage AC AC condenser up front here receiver dryer fully functional ready to rock it has a Nova 10 bolt rear differential in it thanks for listening to me make sure you hang on to the end of the video have a great day All right, it's always nice to have a lift. We got it up on the lift here for you to take a look at it. Very nice body off restoration on this cruiser. Kind of walk you through. Mustang 2 front suspension. Front stabilizer bar. Pretty much uh, suspension wise, it's not airbagged or anything. You didn't want to have the reliability issues of an airbag. So it's got Mustang 2 with gas shocks in the front. We we'll get to the back here. It's got air shocks. You slide this chip. Nah, I can't get to slide the jack back there. Really low, so it's a great cruiser. Tail dragger. Like the way they wrap the exhaust here. Short tube headers. Keeps everything nice and cool. Trans coolers in the radiator. 700 R4 automatic overdrive transmission. Tubular control arms like I talked about, disc brakes on the front here, power desk. We'll get to back to the master cylinder here in just a minute. Car's got about 2,000 miles on it since it was done. I don't know why I'll, uh, I'm doing this before I do the walk around video to cover the odometer. So it sits really low, so you want to go a little bit slow over speed bumps. There's a little baby bump here, a little baby bump here, which is quite okay. It tells you it's been driven. The frame itself has been powder coated, so it's a body off restoration with a powder coated chassis. Has a uh, dual reservoir master cylinder here, looks like a Corvette style one inch bore, power brake booster, set your brake bias right here. Has a uh, low car style emergency brake, it's just forward of the front seat, we probably covered that in the video on the walk around. Custom modified transmission cross mount there, cross member. Got a good quiet little sound with glass packs on it. Here's the, the batteries in the trunk and here's the uh, zero, watt, zero gauge uh, positive cable running to the front. Floor pans are all stock. Good solid car. They modified in the back here, increased the tunnel because of how this car's dropped in the back so you don't end up with a driveline rubbing on the body. Has a uh, Chevy Nova 10 bolt rear, rear differential in it. Parallel leaf springs in the back here. Has uh, air shocks with a gauge up on the dash. We covered that during the walk around. Again, a low car style emergency brake cables, so it's got an e brake. Clearly a pro built car. Car won best custom at uh, 2016 Grand National Roadster Show. Probably already said that during the walk around. Got a really impressive list of uh, goody sweet body modifications that I've already covered with you. Anyway, we think you get the idea. We're gonna do a little pass around here. Rock solid fun is what this one is. Anyway, go to spudsgarage.com where you're gonna find more, a lot of still photos. Have a great day, thanks for listening to me. Just sweet. Might see a few mist drops on the car in some of the photo shoot, but the paint is beautiful on this car. He's taking it back to his garage. Could be going to your garage. Make sure you go to Spud's garage. Have a great day.